Hello, y'all. So, we have to darn on talk about Wells Fargo. So, Wells Fargo is back at it again with their racism. And it's like, at this point, I don't know why any black person is still on the fence about darn going banking with Wells Fargo at this point of the game. And now, granted, we know that all of the institutions have some level of corruptness to them. It's like none of them really see it for us. But it's like Wells Fargo is just outright blatant with their shit. At least Bank of a Bank of America and uh and the other ones would try to do something on the back end and chase this shit. They tried their best to try to cover shit up. It's like Wells Fargo just think it's that girl where they don't give a fuck. So, in addition to holding Wendy Williams darn on money based off of the accusations of a former employee. Uh, saying that she has dementia, even though they ain't got no darn going uh, proof from any doctor of the sort. Wendy Williams done came in multiple times to prove that she's sane. It took her months just to get partial access to her account, and now she still got to go through proving herself through the form of a guardianship. And now, here we hearing that y'all was hosting fake job interviews for black people. During on purposely interviewing people who are underqualified and overqualified to during on not give them the job. And then only review the people who was overqualified just to say you darn on review qualified darn on black candidates. But the underlining intent was not to hire any black folks at the executive position. And then years ago, Elizabeth Warren had the darn gonna call y'all out on predatory lending towards black folks. And then we go into darn on before then where y'all have a history of darn on uh, this, uh, you know, not giving loans to black people who have similar credit scores to white people. Honey, darn on Wells Fargo has been proving themselves time and time and time again that they are a uh, racist darn on corrupt institution to the maximum. And it's like, at this point, when is we going to darn going to hold them accountable? When is we going to force the government to intervene at this darn going level? Because once again, the proof is overwhelming at this point. It is darn going there. It's like at this point in the game, Uncle, so y'all so-called Uncle Joe, this is why I don't fuck with Democrats. Because Democrats are now in control of the executive branch and is in control of the darn going judicial branch I, I want to say because y'all know I get confused with those other two branches uh, but whatever the branch is of the Senate it's like y'all hold the slight majority actually I want to say y'all hold all three right now because I want to say right as of current the house because Nancy and them is still the speaker of the house right and then I want to say there's still a slight control at the same. So it's like y'all bitches, oh, y'all have control of all three branches of government. Even if it's by a minuscule margin. And it's like, y'all are just letting this shit slide. Y'all so-called first vice black, uh, fight, uh, see, I, I, I can't even wrap my mind around calling Kamala Harris black that my mind is can't even compute to even say the lie. But y'all so-called black vice president and the one who says he's for black people, darn on Joe. I'm trying to figure out where is the petition that darn gonna have him darn on uh, finally dissolve Wells Fargo. And not necessarily dissolve it, but just transfer the assets over to like a black... I, I think the ultimate punishment is the transfer it over to darn on black owned bank like One United. One United and it feels so good. It's like, go ahead and darn on uh, break up that shit and darn on transfer the money that y'all have allocated to Wells Fargo to One United and put that on an equal playing field. Since y'all still want to take y'all time on trying to get the darn on HR 40 bill to the floor, I don't know why it's taking over five years just to get a, a topic of the uh, of looking into reparations on the floor. Yet y'all was able to darn on provide billions of dollars within a matter of minutes towards people who are not even U.S. citizens. 
And I'm not even talking about our Hispanics that's coming through the border. I'm talking about show enough white folks coming. And once again, same darn on premises. Donald Trump wanting to talk about provide aid to Norway, but call Africa shithole countries. Now you got darn on Joe Biden in there. Providing darn on aid to Ukraine, but ain't said nothing about darn on Haitians. Ain't mentioned nothing about darn on bl uh, black people at all in regards to reparations or anything else. And now you got this issue going on with Wells Fargo. Is darn on Joe Biden... Is any of the people in Congress is going to darn going force darn on Wells Fargo hand and darn going have them darn going break their shit up and darn going the ultimate um, justice will be transfer all of that darn on money and stuff to black all institutions such as darn on One United. I would think that would be a start with equal in the playing field on darn on black and brown communities darn on getting some justice in as far as having equal funding and business opportunities. Now, granted, I'm sure you got to deal with some bullshit to a certain extent with One United. I'm not saying they perfect, but Lord knows I at least we know they ain't going to discriminate based off of the premise of color. But yeah, y'all, that is it, y'all. Y'all tell me y'all thoughts. Feel free to leave it down below. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all soon with more videos. Mwah.